Hello folks, I'm Poojan from the Enterprise Switching Team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the steps to perform an ISSU upgrade on Catalyst 9600 Quad Supervisor Stackwise Virtual Setup. ISSU is a process that upgrades an image to another image on a device when the network continues to forward packets. It is only supported in install mode. Prerequisites Verify if ISSU is supported between current code and target code. Confirm switch is booting in install mode and manual boot is disabled. Check if the switch is in SSO mode. Clean up all the inactive partitions. Prerequisite 1. Verify if ISSU is supported between your current code and target code. Let us verify the current IO60 version of the switch. As you can see, the iOS XC version is 17.6.5. The same can be verified using the show module command. You can see the quad supervisor setup with soup modules in slot 3 and slot 4 of both the switches running iOS XE version 17.6.5. You can locate this link in the video description. Under the release support matrix, it consists a comprehensive list of all the PIDs that support ISSU target codes corresponding to your current code. And by scrolling all the way to the bottom, find the option of Catalyst 9600 Quad Supervisor Setup. Our current code is 17.6.5 and we intend to perform an iOS upgrade to 17.12.3. Let's check if it's supported. As we can see, it is supported. Prerequisites too. Confirm switch is booting in install mode and manual boot is disabled using show boot system command. As you can see, the boot variable is pointing to packages.conf and manual boot is set to no. You can use the following command if the boot variable is not pointing to packages.conf and auto boot is not enabled. Prerequisite 3. Check if the switch is in SSO mode using show redundancy command. As you can see, the configuration redundancy mode and operating redundancy mode value is set to SSO. Prerequisite 4. Clean up all the inactive partition files using install remove inactive command. It would list down all the inactive partition files from all the four supervisors. We type yes to delete the listed files. As you can see, the listed files have been deleted successfully. ISSU upgrade process consists of the following steps. Check the current ISSU and install states. Copy the new image to the flash memory of the active soup and validate its integrity. Install, activate and commit the image. Verify the correct image installation. Step 1. Check the current ISSU and install states using command show ISSU state detail. We have to make sure no ISSU operation is in progress. Step 2. Copy the new image to the flash memory of the active soup and validate its integrity. Visit software.cisco.com forward slash download forward slash home. Under the product search section, enter the PID of the switch. Select the PID. We are going to be performing an upgrade to 17.12.3. You can use the arrow key to download the image and by hovering over the image, you can see the MD5 checksum value which you need to make a note of. After the iOS file is copied to the switch, we can verify the same using the dir flash command. As you can see, the iOS file is copied successfully. Now let's verify its MD5 checksum value using verify forward slash MD5 space flash iOS file and the MD5 checksum value we sourced from software download page. The intention behind doing this step is to be certain the file was not corrupted while it was getting copied to the flash memory of the switch. As we can see, the iOS file is verified successfully. Step 3. Install, activate and commit the image using command 
install add file flash activate issu command after the command is executed the ios xe file will be copied from the active soup to the standby soup and both the in chassis standby soup followed by a seven stage process which will be initiated for a successful issu upgrade stage 0 system level sanity checks it would basically do the pre checks we performed during the start of the video in stage 1 software would be installed on both the ICH soup stage 2 both the ICH soup will be restarted stage 3 software would be installed in standby soup stage 4 restarting standby at this point soup 2 in slot 2 slash r1 will take up the role of standby 2 slash r goes for a reload and comes up as ICS in stage 5 software would be installed in the active soup stage 6 restarting active at this point there is a switchover between active soup in slot 1 slash r and standby soup in slot 2 slash r1 2 slash r1 becomes the new active and 1 slash r reloads and comes up as ics 1 slash r1 assumes the role of new standby we will now execute the install add file flash activate issu commit command it would take anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes for all the six stages to be completed the last step is to verify the image installation as you can see, the device is upgraded to 17.12.3. The same can be verified using the show module command. As you can see, the device is successfully upgraded to 17.12.3. Thank you.